Well, it's Friday, fun day before the big game day on Sunday, and we've got a little bit of news today from Dan Campbell's press conference. So everyone's wondering, is Isaiah Bugs back? Is he going to get in this Sunday? Dan Campbell was asked today, and essentially what he was asked was first about Bohana. Is Bohana someone he's going to elevate again? They've elevated him the last three weeks. And he said that they were going to make that decision more tomorrow. But in that same sentence, he said that there's a lot of guys that need to come up and, you know, and fill this role and have been playing hard this week. They've got something to prove. They know it. And, and he mentioned Quinton Bohana, Benito Jones, Isaiah Bugs. He also said, you know, with, with Kaminsky and Pascal playing more of the hybrid role, that it's going to take quite a few guys to fill in for Ali McNeil and the positional value that he's leaving behind. So it's going to take quite a few guys to fill in for him. We just don't know who. And I was really expecting today to find out that Bugs was going to be in. The biggest question that I think is looming is, are they willing to bring Bohana up again this week and have to sign him to the 53-man roster? This would be his last game day ele you know, elevation. So they won't be able to do it again for the rest of the season. I think that's going to play a role into this. And we'll find out, uh, I guess, tomorrow or definitely by Sunday when, when the game day designation report comes out. But I think that that's a factor. Uh, there's other guys on the team that can be elevated a couple of more times, and he may have to go that route so that they can save that that designation in case they suffer another injury. Once you add him to the roster, not only is he on the roster, but then you would only have the choices of cutting him or waving him. You couldn't send him back down to the practice squad and then elevate him again. He would be done for the season. Uh, that's the way that I understand it. That's the way it was explained to me. And, and, and if that's the case, we might see bugs. And, and I think that that's going to be a good thing. Look. Bohanna's a guy you've, you've elevated three straight weeks, uh, used up those elevations, but found found a role for him with Alim out. Is that a guy you're going to be looking to add to the active roster this weekend for this game? I mean, all those guys are getting opportunities. He, uh, you know, he, uh, Levi, um, Broderick, um, obviously Bugs, Benita, uh, they're all in play. And uh, we'll make that decision tomorrow on, on where we're going to go. But but Bohanna's a load in there, you know, he is. And uh, when he does things right, he plays with pad level and, and use his footwork and, and stays consistent. He's a load. He's hard to move. Have you seen that group progress this week, knowing that the opportunity is available for them? Yeah, I mean, they're they're guys that are, they're, they look like they're, you know, uh, they're taking it serious. I mean, they, they understand they have an opportunity, and, and they're competing. You know, they're competing for, for a spot. This is going to be a tough game on Sunday. We have inclement weather coming into Chicago, and I feel like if we have a bigger, broader, you know, wider body that Bugs is with those long arms, Maybe he can chew up a couple of gaps and, and allow, you know, the guys left and right of him to be able to have better success and better production. I, I don't care what you call it. Five out of six, six out of seven, nine out of 10 games. Whenever Bugs has been in this season, the Lions have had their best production games with sacks and TFLs besides one game. And look, they were getting five, six sacks when he was in three, four sacks when he was in, when he wasn't in the production hasn't been there. Does it correlate? Does it mean the bugs is the answer? Yeah, I'm not so sure on that, but something's working when he's in. And I guess I would like to see that this weekend against Chicago. This is a game that we can't lose. If we want to wrap up this, this, this division by week 15, we need to win on Sunday. So don't forget this Friday night tonight, we've got our breaking it down series and we have a special guest on tonight. Derek Fields with Lions syndicate is going to be joining us for the first hour beginning at 8 PM. And look, we've laid out a great show for you tonight. It's going to be the same type of show that I normally do. It's just going to be a lot more involved. There's going to be uh, more action, more banter, uh, a lot more, you know, keys to the game and, and, and opinions. And uh, the chat will be alive and going. So we're looking uh, forward to having you all in. Don't forget 8 p.m. right here on Rockdown Podcast Network. And if you haven't subscribed now, please do hit the notification bell so you get the notification when we go live. And uh, we'll be doing this the rest of the season. And we do uh, have plans for a big show after the season into the off season. We haven't named it yet, but tonight's your first real teaser at what that's going to look like. We'll see y'all later. Go one pride. Go Detroit Lions. Take care. Bye-bye.